feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, big guy Ryback here. Another edition of the Big Guy versus Food, and today we have a healthy meal. I told you guys we'll try to get a healthy meal in here every week. This is actually teriyaki madness. I'm double fisting it today, guys. Double fisting. I got a steak teriyaki bowl with white rice and chicken with white rice, and I'm gonna put a little extra teriyaki sauce on. Uh, dive in. I'm just finishing a 24-hour fast. I'm. Uh, I'm very hungry and I was out I had to go visit my little dog secret my dad's dog that got attacked by the other dog luckily she's okay and um, so we gotta go do a big arm workout here get get some carbs in me I'm gonna be slowly cutting down my carbs not a lot just compared to what I was my weight there shot over 300 pounds and I need to uh, keep building my strength and I, I want to keep my body fat levels in check here. So like at my last meal of the night, I will eliminate a big carb meal at the end of the night and replace that with a full salad and lean protein. And uh, I make slight adjustments as we go. But this is meal number one of the day. And oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm. Karaoke madness here in Vegas. My goodness. Look at that. Chicken teriyaki, broccoli, some onions, cabbage, white rice. You shouldn't be eating white rice! Eat white and brown rice! White rice is part of the vertical diet. I never used to eat white rice, and I'm loving it. It's very easily digested. And uh, read the vertical diet by Stan Efferding. There's the guy in carbohydrates, but I've done different diets, keto, intermittent fasting, heavy into intermittent fasting, and that was too much for the amount of calories I need. So I found doing one prolonged fast a week, one day a week, and then eating very consistently throughout the week has uh, helped me and my body. My energy levels are better. I was never able to get into ketosis. And I did that for various points. One, I did it upwards of a year and uh, I did not like it. Didn't like, I, and there were parts of it I did like, but I didn't like that. Um, after going back to carbs and feeling the energy from the carbs, I function better on carbohydrates. So, and there's, I, I just think with people with diets, especially if you're in fitness and in, in with doing conditioning and things, my body just runs better on it. If you run better on fat, and you get into ketosis, and that. You know, I don't process fats well. I have testing showing that. So I think it's important to just try all different forms of eating. And see what works best for you. Because you can look up anything online and literally whatever you type in, you can find the answer to. You can literally get confirmation for whatever you type in. Like, Fats are bad for you. You're going to find a bunch of stuff that says fats are bad for you. Fats are good for you. You're going to find a bunch of stuff that says fats are good for you. Replace the word fat with whatever word you want. That's life. I really don't, you know, research and all that stuff has its place, but I've never been part of a research study. How the fuck are you going to tell me what's good for me? I'd rather just try it and figure it out on my own. And I understand there's a, there's definitely a place for science and research, but I think sometimes we get caught up in statistics a little too much. I'm big on real life. 
I'm reading a book right now. Civilized to death. Talking about the running epidemic with like running shoes and injuries and goes back to the whole premise of this world is people had this shit figured out pretty early on. And then once business came into play, people making money, not a good way. Life started be, uh, becoming altered a bit. So, I know that's probably too deep for some people. Shut the fuck up and just eat and kick ass. Feed me more and made up close shell shock. Sorry, I have a brain, I speak. You might not agree with it. That's okay. It makes me really happy, you guys, when I get emails and messages. Um, from people saying that they found motivation by finding this channel, and that's really cool. Thank you. And, uh... <clears throat> There's nothing we can't do. We're all human. It's all our mindset and our... We all have different starting points and whatnot, but to me, I always said wrestling was really not satisfying for me in the sense that even if people that met me that loved me, they only loved me for what they saw acting on TV. And I understand wrestling blurs the lines a bit, and it's more than just acting in a way. But I always get more enjoyment when people tell me, I, hey man, I lost 120 pounds from using your book and using your supplements and listening to you on your podcast and other things. Wow, that's powerful and it's real. And I get more enjoyment out of, of real. So I also do get enjoyment with the entertainment aspect of things, but I think I need the real thing in my life then I could have the entertainment, too. But that's just me. That's just how I interpret things. Ball one done. Ball two, bring it on. Steak. I realize <clears throat> some it always it's funny to me some people how mad they get over things. Somebody was furious over my egg video. When I put the eggs to the thing, I go, can you smell it? They were furious. We can't smell anything. Well, no shit, it's a phone, asshole. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there's no need to get angry over things, especially a free video that you click on, that you literally clicked on yourself. Like, it's madness. Oh, hello. The um, pour the sauce. Oh, I love food. I love lamp. I love food. Can you smell it? Guys, can you smell it? Seriously, can you smell it? No? Oh, too fucking bad. Mmm. God, I love steak. Meat. Meat on the table. I always hated the name of my theme song. I love the theme song. 
I think meat on the table it just sounds so bad to me. Like I just come over and just swing it on the table. Feeding time! I'm sure that was named that on purpose. Meat on the table. So weird. Uh, I remember when I got my theme song. The original one, without words, I used for like two or three weeks. I loved that beat. The dun dun dun. dun. I was I bobbed my head to it. I was feeling it. Then that new one came, and it lost a bit of that beat. The dun 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 dun. Like it was just like this. You can go back and watch. And like I'm in the like I fucking felt it. My God, damn it! I'm just not, I'm just not cut out for this. But it um. I really, I like that. I, I really liked my theme song, though. I, and I believe theme music is one of the most important things in character development. And uh, if you don't have a good theme song, you're not getting over it. I don't care what you do. If your theme song doesn't elicit emotion from the moment it is heard, it's not, it's not a good thing. Energy and emotion. You can't teach it. The energy of the song has to match the energy of the performer. The fighter. Whatever you want to call it. Very real thing. That's pro wrestling. You have an energy and you go out there and you make people feel that energy and then they give you their energy and you give it back to them there's no more there's no more powerful feeling in the world you're listening an emotion a real emotion in an enter, in entertainment environment so that's where like the realness gets blurred with the entertainment aspect because it does create real emotion it's like a great movie Fucking Arnold's going, damn it, cussed again. I need to have a little jar, swear jar here. If you don't feel emotion when Arnold's going into that lava in T2, you're not human. But that's just, I love that scene. The Because the raw emotion that it makes you feel. From this ass-kicking machine, that felt emotion. learn every move in the book but if you don't understand energy and you're listening an emotion in the crowd and how to get that emotion the moves don't mean anything you can't teach that why you look at all the greats in pro wrestling they knew that every of those guys are everyone's so talented you can learn every move in the book you realize though that it's irrelevant and not that knowing moves is bad it's not it's great i love it it's a fine balancing act That's the pro wrestling I fell in love with. I'd rather see a guy hit a guy with one badass move and show me some characters, show me some emotion rather than pick him up and hit him with five more moves just to get the same exact kick out you were going to get on one move. Feed me some character development, some emotion, 
some facial expressions. This is the money. Eyes are the window to the soul. You show people your eyes. A lot of men. Printing money. If I just get healthy, I'll always have a job. Guy doesn't shut up! I know. I know. <laughs> Teriyaki Madness. Highly recommend this if you come to Vegas, guys. Delicious. <clears throat> Done. Guys, if you're not where you want to be in life, and you got to look at what you're doing, the decisions you're making, look at all the things that are distracting you and holding you back from what you actually want, and you start making changes very as quickly or slowly as you want, but you start making changes. If you're drinking a, a 12 pack every night, sleeping in, and you know you need to get up early, and you know your waistline's not where you want it because you're drinking that 12 pack and then eating shit food late at night, stop it. You can do whatever you want. When you want something as bad as you want that next breath of air, really think about that. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. That feeling that you just want that next breath of air. Put your head under water. Take away the oxygen. That want, you need to have that level of want for what you want. And if you don't, it, it's just the way you got to figure out how to get it. You got to find the motivation and we're all different, but it exists in every single one of us. I firmly believe it. I firmly believe it. There's all different levels to this shit, but re-rack your weights, return your shopping carts, get hungry, stay hungry, teriyaki madness chicken beef teriyaki two thumbs up five stars that was a healthy meal i thoroughly enjoyed it never forget feed me more hey guys it's the big guy ryback back and i just want to say thank you very much for watching go ahead and punch that like smash that subscribe button and check out my all natural sup my all natural supplement line supplement supplement Stupid, my all natural supplement line, Feed Me More Nutrition, available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, Feed Me More. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube, subscribe if you're new, smash that like button if you had a great time watching, and for all supplements, check out FeedMeMore.com.